First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Raka Kodesh. We see the man and Salah pastors and elders are great mention all well. Our teachers, our pastors in the truth. We see salutations, all the accounts of the push. We don't know truth and say the day in and the out. You know, can't say in season one season. We say, you know, Shalom. You know, once again, going to this spirit. Um, just to do a quick video, uh, uh, a quick video on, uh, on something I don't want to spirit, you know, um, um, you know, while praying and so forth. You know, the precept is uh, meditating and, and so on. It's a precept brought to my mind that the washing of the word and how important it is to always come to turn to the word whenever. When it, all right, it come like when you're feeling dirty, when it's dirty, right, you're, um, you're unclean. Right, I talk about I talk about on a on a physical level, you know, you're unclean, you must know, work, you're unclean, you know, or you're feeling, you know, you're feeling that that you're unclean. What you will do, you you get up, you go and bathe, you you clean out yourself, right, and and you turn to water, right. But it's just to put it here. I was on show minds that even when you're feeling unclean through the spirit, and and you're feeling unclean, we have to turn to to wash out that uncleanliness. Is the word. You understand? And that is what the scriptures say. This is Ephesians 5, verse 26. It said that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of, of water by the word. So, you know, we have to turn to this word. <laughs> you know, when, when we're feeling, when we're feeling um, unclean, when you know a little, sh little shakiness here and there, you know, um, you turn to uh, the word. You understand? You know, sometimes you may be, we might be a little down in the spirit, but it is, but you turn to the word. To let the word cleanse you, you know, let the word bring you back up. They say faith comes by the hearing of the word, you know. So we gotta turn to this word. You understand? But uh, that was running through mind, like you know, um, you know, the same is is how you go be unclean, how you go be unclean physically. You would what? You would run to you would run to what? Uh, to water, to bead, to wash off that uncleanliness, you know, your dirtiness. As you say me, like when you do it here, you will turn toward the wood, you know, to cleanse yourself. And that is just basically what the scripture is saying here. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the of water by the wood, that he might present himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it, it should be holy and without blemish. I understand? So, yeah. So, cleanse yourself by the word. We wash yourself by this word. If you're unclean, we turn to the word. You know, hey, as I see, just it's just something small. I just wanted to touch upon a precept, and, and that was just running through my mind. You know, so that we give our praises to Yah, Bashem, Yah, Shai, Bashem, Raka Kodash. We see the one, see the apostles, and there's a great mention as well. And salutations, all the Akimas, they push you with the truth and say it in and the out. You know, continue in season, season, we say Shalom.